friends today what i'm going to do means air has weight my teacher has teached me uh, air has weight so that one i'm going to do today let's okay friends i will explain you should tie the rope in the middle of the stick like this end of the stick also you should tie the rope okay now second step is what next take two balloons of same size same size okay okay now next step is take one balloon and tie in this piece of rope Okay, now take the next second balloon and tie in the next piece of rope. Okay, the balloon is tied to the rope in the both sides, and we can see the balloon has the same weight. Two balloon has the same weight. Okay, by using this. Uh, next step is by using this pin. I am going to poke this pink color balloon. Okay. Wow. See, before that we having this stick like this, but now we are having slanting stick. Why? Because see, this burst balloon has come in the up, and this add balloon. Has come in the down place. So, see, uh, air has weight. Here is air. Here is no air. So, air has weight. I think you understand. Okay, from this experiment, we have understood that air has weight. Okay, just now only we finished this experiment. Yes. Now, next experiment is air fills up empty space. For this, I have taken one empty bottle. Do you think it is a really empty bottle? No, it is filled up with the air. Okay, now I will explain. Really, bottle contains air. Okay, for this, I have taken full bucket full of water. I'm going to put like this. It's, hey, see here, it's coming bubbles. This bubbles means air. Air is coming out. Okay, and water is going into the bottle. See, it's going. See, it's filled with the water. Okay. From this, we have understood air fills up empty space. Friends, you can also try these two experiments by the presence of the parents. Friends, if you like this, what I have done, please share, subscribe and like.